test, test, test. Alright, we're already gonna do the last thing. So, hey yo, Spaghetto here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club Part 2. I just launched the game, you said it and wasn't I saw- two. I said Part 2! Oh, okay. Is that different? Yes. Okay. It's like the second video in the fucking series we're doing. Ad friendly! Okay, I'm taking it from the top. <laughs> hey yo, Spaghetto here, and welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. I launched the game and this weird computer metaverse Facebook looking thing popped up. I am not sure what this is. I didn't know we were in the metaverse, Lars. Oh no, this is just the Linux version of the game. Don't worry about it. <laughs> we got pictures hey, though. Hey, 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 spoilers. These aren't spoilers, it's just old artwork. But I don't know what the characters look like. What the fuck do you mean? Stop, dude, we gotta play the game. Oh wait, you can set your wallpaper? Here you go, Lars. Oh, no, I prefer Monica. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. I got you. Yeah, I, I just you. I didn't have a choice during the poem segment. Because they're like, okay. do you want Yuri or do you want like the other two instead of the fourth girl? Okay. <laughs> well there, your computer is now set as Monica. Are you happy? Um, sure. Alright, music. Oh, there's all the songs we listen to. Anyways, files. I probably shouldn't be fucking around with this, should I? Nope. Side stories? Anyways. All right, let's jump back into it. <laughs> That's actually pretty cool. I like the whole, like, computer. Hey, look, Team Celevato. Team Celevato. Cool, thank you. <sighs> Never mind. I don't like this fucking game. What is this, some kind of dating game, dude? Okay. So, we're gonna continue where we left off. Are you ready, Lars? Uh, Hi again, noodle boy. Ah, glad to see you didn't run away on us. <laughs> nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. <laughs> well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. <gasps> Thanks for keeping your promise, noodle boy. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on! Like, he deserves any slack that f So you already told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. And last year, too! I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. Hang out. But if you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Atsuki, you certainly have a big mouth. Blech. All right, I'm going to restart that. <laughs> Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. Good. Good. Not magna. Not magna. Yes, manga. Lars, shut the fuck up. I'm trying or, or, to read. Or, yeah, or manga, I guess. But not ma not magna. It's not the magna carta. <laughs> Natsuki. I guess it's Natsuki. Finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. So, manga. Manga is Wanda! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. <coughs> Don't worry, guys. Sari's very sick, it seems. Little boy <laughs> always <laughs> gives it his. <laughs> she, has, she must have cancer, I guess, or something. Little boy always. <laughs> 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 it's been, Noodle. the chemo's been very hard on her. Noodle Boy always gives it his best as long as he's having fun. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my oh, room. Oh, what a fucking having simp, set. dude. How dependable. Sari, that's because your room is so messy it's distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once. Is that so <laughs> That's a very weird response to, 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 okay. Is she like a pyromaniac or? You two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little bit jealous. How come you and Noodle Boy can be good friends too? Um, um. So, 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 say, are you? Hmm. I, um. Uh, as usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just <sighs> put me in. Oh, oh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori, no! Eh? Me? Um, not really. Oh, don't be 
shy. It's really nothing. What is it? Ew. Uh, never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Ooh. What do I do? Uh. I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking with my brain, of course. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. What a cringe thing to say. <laughs> it's the line, dickbag. No, I know. I meant for the, the character, not oh, you. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not your fault that... The characters cringe. <laughs> All right. Did you write the fucking game? <laughs> no, Dan Salavato wrote it. Yeah. Hey, uh, don't worry about it. Okay. Just gargle some cock. Like, okay. No, I'm not you. Anyway, okay. So, first of all, I, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So, any nice gesture from you is a pleasant surprise. It'll make me happy no matter what. What a dumb thing to say. Uh, is that so? Yeah, I, I won't make a big deal out of it if you don't want it to be. Oh my gosh. He has like negative 100 riz right now. Yeah. All right. Well, here. Yuri re- Oh. Yuri oh, reaches shit. into her bag and pulls out a book. Oh, okay, good. I'm glad it's just a book. Yeah. It's not like a pumped up kicks kind of... Go ahead. I didn't want you to feel left out. So I picked out a book that I thought you might enjoy. It's a short read. So it should keep your attention, even if you don't usually read. Rude. And, and we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. This? This is... How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Oh, God. Yeah, the lion's in this first character, not... Anyway, uh, she even <laughs> picked... <laughs> she even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri! Thank you! I'll definitely read this. No, you fucking won't. Yeah, no. I enthusiastically <laughs> take the book. <sighs> well, you can read it at your own pace. Okay, you're saying I read slow? I look slow. forward to hear- What? Nothing. Hmm? That was just me muttering under my breath, uh, sarcastically. I look forward to hearing what you think. Now that everyone's settled in, I say I'm going to take off some sandals for the club. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Sayori and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Is she like a fucking raccoon? Just <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> she's, she's digging around in there. <laughs> <Hopefully. Weirdo. laughs> she's gonna find some tokens. Like an old cheese pizza. All right. I'm I'm really curious to talk to Yuri a little bit more. But at the same time, I would feel bad for distracting her from reading. I catch a glimpse of the cover of her book. It looks like the same book it looks like the same book that she lent to me. More than that, she seems to be on the first few pages. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. It's a big read into that line. Okay. Crap! I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. Ooh. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her book. <laughs> Sorry. It's so bad. I was just spacing out. I mutter this, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh, <clears throat> it's fine. I'm used to men staring at my boobs because they're perverts, but it's okay. If I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I'm just rereading a bit of this, so... That's the book you gave me, right? Mm-hmm. I wanted to reread some of it with my eyeballs, of course. Not for any particular reason, uh... 
I don't like the art of her hand there. Anyway. <laughs> just, <laughs> just... Just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Uh... <laughs> Well, when I stopped by the bookstore yesterday, uh, that's not what I meant. Uh, I mean, did, did, what? What? Wait, what did she mean otherwise than that? Okay, oh, never mind. I Go just ahead. happened to buy two of them. Ah, I see. There's something fairly obvious here that Yuri isn't telling me, but I decide to let it go. I also notice it, it's kind of funny that like a big strand of her hair is just like perfectly cascading off of one of her boots. I'll definitely start reading it soon. I'm glad to hear. Mm. Also, you sound more uncomfortable than like into Yuri now. It's funny. Yeah. Once it starts to pick up, you might have a hard time putting it down. What's that supposed to mean? It's very engaging and a relatable story. Is that so? Uh, what, what's it about, anyway? Well, mmm. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. All right. I just wanted to make sure I don't accidentally give anything away. No spoilers. Basically, it's about a girl in the high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. But as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escaped from a human experiment prison. And while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationships, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... <laughs> That's kind of dark, isn't it? You made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so that dark turn came from nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. <laughs> Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Noodle Boy? This kind of dialogue, not so much, no. No, it's not that. I mean, I, I could definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I hope so. Yeah, I totally forgot that Yuri is into those things. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories, they challenge you to look at life from a strange new perspective. God. When horrible things happen, not just because of someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. And suddenly, when you thought you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. Is that foreshadowing? I'm... I'm... I'm, I'm rambling, aren't I? Oh, oh gosh. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Not again. I'm sorry. Hey! Don't apologize! <laughs> Calm down. Calm down, Noodle Boy. We get it. I mean, I think at this point you would do anything to go home with Yuri, but relax. I haven't lost interest or anything. Well, I guess it's all right then. But I feel like I should let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I, I kind of forget to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I end up saying something strong gay. And please stop me if I start talking too much. Good. Oh, that's... <laughs> I really don't think you need to worry. That just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a lit... <laughs> Hold on. It's a literature club, after all. Ah! Uh -uh. That's... well, th that's true. Fuck, I forgot where I was. In fact, <laughs> I might as well get started reading it, right? Uh, you don't have to. Ah ha ha ha. What are you saying? <laughs> what are you saying? 
Uh, just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> what, is Noodle Boy going to be a fuckboy now? <laughs> Let me just uh, get the book. <laughs> 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 Quickly retrieve the book that I put into my bag. By the way, I know that this is like a goofy recording at the moment, but these some of these lines are just fucking ridiculous, man. Anyway, I got the book. All right. It's fun if I sit here, right? Is it chill if I chill right here? I just want to make sure it's chill. Chill at my level? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. <laughs> Why is it written like that? I don't know. It's just like, <laughs> I slip into her seat. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, um. Are you sure? This is so creepy. <laughs> it's so creepy. You seem a little apprehensive. Quick, blow the whistle! <laughs> <laughs> That's... I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, it's not that I don't want you to. It's just that... <laughs> Wait, are they, are they reading or fucking? What, like, what's... <laughs> Close your eyes and listen to this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> it's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up uh, distracting you or anything. What the fuck? Uh, uh, all right. I open the book and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means about reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. Oh, bleh. No, I wouldn't say this. That's a bad thing. Like, to have someone over your shoulder as you're reading, that's like the worst thing. Okay. It's not a particularly bad thing. <laughs> Lars, he's horny. Relax. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Th that is not comforting. Yuri is in the corner of my eye. Hold on. I'm, I'm getting a call. I'm going to mute for a second. Sorry about that. <clears throat> I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just... Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? Uh, I do? Wait a minute. Do you see the, the closet in the background? Yeah. There's just a chair in there. Is it like, does Natsuki just like lock herself in the closet and sit in that fucking chair? Is that what she's I mean, rummaging around in there doing? I mean, you added the lock herself in part, but yeah, there's probably a chair in most of those kind of kinds of closets. Cause you gotta like look around and sort through stuff. I guess she just, that's where she lives. She's, that's just where she lives. Okay. Or there's just a chair in the closet. <laughs> like, <laughs> I, not... I guess Natsuki is just homeless and she just lives in the closet. Okay. <laughs> I don't really mean to. Sorry. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's a flyer on the wall. Does that mean that Mo Monica is a werewolf? I don't. Oh, it, it obviously implies that like she transforms when the moon uh, hits a certain way, right? Okay. Well, explain. There's no. There's no moon on any of those posters. Right, but there's also no implication that Natsuki is homeless because there's just a chair in the closet. <laughs> that yeah, but track. The, the, it's, it says that she's always rummaging around in there and that she keeps her manga she, in the closet. It says she is rummaging around. It doesn't say she's always she also rummaging keep, around. She always, she always is rummaging around in there and she keeps her manga in the closet. She doesn't take it home. She's homeless. That's, that's a dumb theory. But You're right, just making fine. up bullshit. I'm so reading you. into the subtext. No, I'm paying attention to the goddamn story. The subtext here is that Yuri is dripping. The subtext here is Yuri is freaking the fuck out right now. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> here. This should work, right? I, s <laughs> I slide my desk up until it's against Yuri's. And then I hold my book more between the two of them. 
Okay, that is like so fucking so much sexual tension. Holy shit. Yeah. Uh, I suppose so. Yuri timidly closes her own copy. Once we each lean in a bit, our shoulders are almost touching. <gasps> shoulders! Shoulder! Feels like my left arm is in the way, so I instead use my right hand to hold the book open. <laughs> His right hand. Uh, I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Yeah, I got it. <gasps> oh shit, Lars. Oh, oh, oh shit. Look at him. He is gripping that book. <laughs> yeah, he's like, this is a substitute for my penis right now in every possible way. Yuri's also trying to, like, cover up her, her bust. She's yep. just like, uh, uh. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book between her thumb and forefinger. Fingers! What is with the fingers? I don't know. Uh, I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. That way, I turn a page and Yuri slides it under her thumb after it flips to her side. But in holding it like this, we're huddled even closer <laughs> together than before. It's actually kind of <laughs> distracting me. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face and she's in the corner of my vision. Also, I gotta say, once again, Yuri's ear is horrifying. Don't you just want to lick it? No. I'd rather <laughs> lick it. Are you ready? Uh -huh. To turn the page. Uh -huh. Sorry. I think I got a bit <laughs> distracted for a second. Uh -huh. <sighs> I glance over at Yuri's face again and our eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. <laughs> That's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? Oh, fuck you, Yuri. <laughs> She'd probably like that. I don't mind being patient if it takes you a bit longer. It's probably the least I can do. Is this a euphemism for sex? Since you've been so patient with me. By the way, I just want to point out, like, her eyes all the way back to the right now at this point. Like, she's looking behind herself. That's kind of creepy, the way that that's framed, <laughs> actually. It, yeah. This is the true horror of DDLC. Yeah. Thanks. <sighs> we continue reading. Yuri no longer asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finishes the page before me, so I turn it by my own volition. There's a four dollar word. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. This is so So this awkward. is a euphemism for sex! This is so awkward. I forgot how awkward this was. Yeah. My thumb gently letting go of the page, Ugh. letting it flutter over her side uh, as she catches it under her own thumb what is it with the fingers it's like when you toss a penis into a girl's butt hey yuri <laughs> what the fuck this might be a silly thought but <laughs> the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit uh, did you see her eye yeah oh you think so how does she well I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways. But she also second guesses all of the things she says and does. Damn. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can, uh, you know, see into your head or anything. But they're kind of reminiscent of some of your mannerisms. This is really condescending. Uh, I see. <laughs> Yuri remains silent for a moment. But Noodle Boy, that's probably a terrible thing to have in common with her. Uh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. <laughs> wait, 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 
I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. <laughs> I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Come back. Uh, um, okay, so. <laughs> sorry, I didn't really know you were self-conscious about that kind of thing. This recording is giving me brain rot. <laughs> I guess I more meant that it's um, kind of cute. Oh. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying all that all of a sudden? Uh, okay, everyone! Uh, I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Oh. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that all right, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's not. It's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Fun! <laughs> uh, thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I guess I'll do some more reading tonight. Or would you prefer I only read it with you? Um, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way. Ooh, shut the fuck down. Hmm. <laughs> In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. I can read by myself, I'm you know. <laughs> if you get my if you get I'm what I mean. <laughs> He did insult her quite a bit, and then he's like, yeah. oh wait, no, it's just cute, never mind. No, I'm just taking this as a, a euphemism for sex. I right. know, I know. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up, you know? That's good reasoning. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Oh, I'm definitely going to do it twice tonight, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! I stand up. I'm actually impressed he's able to stand up right now, considering. Okay. <laughs> Alright, I make a mental note of where I left off in the book, then slip it back into my bag. So much slipping and fingers and, like, sliding and... <laughs> By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night, Noodle Boy? Yeah, 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 yeah. My <laughs> the relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing! I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Ooh. Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's is on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. That's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us for the very interesting reading session with Yuri. That was something, I guess. Yeah, that... That was, that was reading that seemed like that was the activity they were describing in detail. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you'd like to see more. And as always, we will see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, wasn't this supposed to be a horror game? Ah, okay. So Dan Slovato was just like, okay, artist, you need to draw this. You need to draw this one strand of hair. Make sure it's on the left boob. And keep it there at all times.